You don't even need to be a Doctor Who fan to know that this year is the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who and each decade's anniversary has seen some sort of celebration either on the TV show or in the expanded media. It might be a bit revisionist to say so considering the story had closer to the 9th anniversary but the 10th anniversary had the 3 Doctors, the 20th had the 5 Doctors, the 30th had 30 Years in the TARDIS, a pretty extensive and loving documentary for a recently in inverted commas disgraced show no longer on TV and Dimensions in Time. The 40th had again fairly prominent celebrations for a dead TV show in the form of some retrospectives, repeats and an animated webcast, although also had the announcement of its imminent return as well as the huge audio event to Grace, and the 50th had all the usual documentary lovings, Big Finish's light at the end, and quite obviously, the day of the Doctor. And that's without mentioning the tie-in celebrations in novels and comic books, so Doctor Who always makes a hell of a lot of noise about its big birthdays, and it looks like the 60th will be no exception. And I remember getting so excited by all of that noise around the 30th, the 40th, and especially the 50th celebrations, and I kind of expected the same to be true of the 60th, no matter how much older I am. But, sorry to say, this time I'm not feeling it. And if you'll indulge me, I'd like to try and work out why that might be. Because I don't think it's an age thing. Sure. I was a kid for the 30th, I was a late teen for the 40th, and I was hurtling towards 30 for the 50th. And while I might have been a fully fledged grown up for the 50th, it's hard to stress exactly how big the 50th was. It was huge. And on account of the hiatus, it was the first time we were getting an anniversary special on TV while the show was an ongoing concern since the 20th anniversary. That was 30 years. And even though I was a fully fledged grown up. I was as giddily excited about the 50th as I was for the 30th when I was an actual child. But 10 years older is 10 years older and maybe now that I'm in my late 30s I just have to sort of accept the fact that maybe this kind of ramped up excitement has been taken from me and that I just don't have that in me anymore. But no, we all know that that's not what being a nerd is about. It is a part of us and it remains a part of us. Besides, how I reacted to certain parts of the power of the Doctor and how I found myself in the run-up to Avengers Infinity War, not to mention being really quite excited for Shooter's new Doctor, has shown me that I am still capable of being that hyped-up fanboy even though I might be pushing 40. It's just, I'm not feeling it for the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. And I should be. My favourite show, which has been my favourite show for over 30 years, is about to celebrate a massive jubilee with returning showrunner, returning doctor, returning companion, and a considerable injection of marketing in a shot in the arm of fan and public enthusiasm and goodwill. So why aren't I getting swept up in it all? Why aren't I chomping at the bit to get to November to find out why the 14th Doctor has got the same face as the 10th, and why am I not giddy with excitement at the prospect of sitting down to watch these 60th anniversary specials? Well, I've realised something. Me not feeling it isn't just a sense of apathy or ennui when it comes to the concept of the 60th anniversary, because I do have reactions and thoughts and opinions and feelings about it. It's just that I'm actually finding myself swinging the other way. Based on everything we've seen and heard so far, I realise that I'm actually concerned. Aside from thinking it's kind of cute that one of the specials is adapting a comic strip from decades ago and being genuinely, profoundly touched at being able to see Bernard Cribbins as Wolf again, everything else has kind of got me just feeling a little bit deflated. I wish I didn't feel this way because I get that it's almost a cliche, but the fact that Russell T Davis's first episode back as showrunner brings back both David Tennant and Catherine Tate just seems like a bit of a step back. Now the anniversaries of Doctor Who always do tend to get a little retrospective, a little introspective, and no surprise there, it's a celebration. And there are always fans who feel like not enough of the show is being celebrated. You'll get scores of fans who say that the Day of the Doctor is a celebration of New Who and not Classic Who. Now, while I don't completely agree with that, I do understand on some level why they think it, even if I don't share it as a viewpoint. So I say the following with full knowledge that it's a colossal undertaking for a new Doctor's first appearance to be an anniversary celebration. Shooty Gatwa's availability was likely not immediate anyway, so some kind of bridging gap had to be devised. Many fans will be delighted with the returns that have already been announced. And the show can celebrate its past in ways other than bringing back every available Doctor. But while I acknowledge all of that, and 
spoilers for much further on in the marathon that I'm currently embarking on, I was never a big fan of the David Tennant era. So the closer we get to the anniversary and the likelier it looks that it's going to essentially be a victory lap of series four with a few elements of the show's past and expanded media brought in to add to the celebratory vibe, the less I care. Now, I am happy for those who are jumping with joy at the prospect of having him back for the 60th. I really am. I get it and I am delighted for you. And this isn't me trying to uh, take away any excitement or any joy that any of you might have at David Tennant coming back for the 60th. This is literally me trying to verbalise and work out why I don't feel the same way. And I think if you are jumping for joy at having David Tennant back, the only way I can sort of like try and explain it to you is, is that just try and imagine a doctor that you weren't head over heels in love with seemed to be the only one around which an anniversary special was centred. That describes much of my current misgivings, but it's more than that. I don't want to come across as one of these fans who's throwing his toys out of the pram because wow, 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 a doctor that I don't like is being made the centre of attention for the anniversary. It's not that. I don't dislike any of the doctors, not really. And while I've never considered my long-standing fandom has made me one of the stick-in-the-mud ones, I kind of do sort of think that the celebratory nature of a Doctor Who anniversary, which comes along only ever so often, is special. And bringing one, just one, back over and above all others when it comes to a return such as this, kind of doesn't feel special. When that first announcement happened that David Tennant and Catherine Tate were coming back for the 60th anniversary, I actually was glad, in that fuzzy, nostalgic way. I mean, it felt inevitable, what with Russell T Davies coming back, that Tennant especially would definitely return for the anniversary specials, but I just sort of assumed that they were going to be the first announcements of more to come. And while the, I, I'm sure that there is more to these specials than we currently know, I've got a strong feeling that Tennant is all we're going to be getting Doctor-wise, until at least Shooty shows up for a little bit. And I refer you back to what I said a few seconds ago, with Tennant being the main focus, kind of doesn't feel special. Sure, the pair of the Doctor did scratch a classic Doctor itch, but I'm wondering whether I only think that because I've talked myself into thinking that I think it, because it kind of didn't. I mean, lovely to see them again, of course, but like the, the screen time felt perfect for teeing up a subsequent appearance, should the story call for it. And yeah, maybe the story doesn't call for it, and yeah, maybe it's a chance to do something different than simply wheeling out old Doctors to celebrate an anniversary, but I think this is how I prove to myself that I am not one of those Stick in the Mud fans. Because, well, yeah, of course, I am a sucker for a big multi-Doctor epic. Let's say the specials uh, celebrated the past and the legacy in different ways than simply wheeling out another multi-doctor epic. Well, yeah, I would be slightly a tiny, 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 tiny little bit disappointed. I would be willing uh, to trust in what was to come. Except with this, a past doctor is being brought back and I'm just not keen on it being just one. Because it smacks of favoritism. And regardless of what you think, I actually don't think that the show itself should play favorites. And in terms of what story calls for, Russell's never really been one to let that get in the way of doing what he wants to do, whatever that is, for better or for worse. For example, there's really no reason for Captain Jack to come back at the end of Series 3. And if I think about it, it's actually a little bit clunky getting him back at the start of Utopia, but Russell wanted Captain Jack back. And he also wants David Tennant back, so he's the 14th Doctor. And let me stress, that is fine, the man is in charge, He's a lauded writer, he's very, very capable, he's in charge, he can do whatever he wants to do and whatever he thinks is best. And I don't doubt that there will be an explanation as to why the 14th Doctor has the same face as the 10th, it's just that now that I'm getting into it and if I actually look a little bit deeper, I think I'm also worried about the quality of that explanation in story. But you can probably tell my biggest worry at the moment is that this could all just be a rehash of Series 4, and Series 4 in particular. Now, I, I, that probably does make me sound like a stick in the mud, and I know full well how popular Russell, David and Catherine all were together, like the new Who dream team. But me, I get that Doctor Who referencing and revisiting even its past in the context of an anniversary special is pretty much expected. It's just that taking one tiny slither of its life, one year out of 60, and focusing on it to the extent that these specials seem to be doing, regardless of what other elements of Doctor Who's past they incorporate, it all just feels too insular. 
So, like, there's the rumblings of Bonnie Langford as Mel coming back, there's uh, the use of Beep the Meep from the comic strips of Yore, and there's the fact that we know next to nothing about the second special, but they are all still led by Tennant and Tate, and I'm finding it a struggle to get on board with it all as a result. The aborted 30th anniversary special, The Dark Dimension, would have given a prominent role to Tom Baker, which I have no doubt the public and a lot of fans would have absolutely loved to see, to the point where that may have been enough for them to enjoy the thing, but it would have been at the expense of every other living Doctor. Unlike other Doctors showing up in cameos in, say, Jodie Swan Song, which is very obviously Jodie's episode, relegating other past Doctors um, and current in Sylvester's case with Dark Dimension, in favour of a larger role for another past Doctor, didn't feel right. While I do like Tom's Doctor an awful lot, I stand by what I said about the 60th. It would have been a mistake for the 30th to do that, and so, with the favouring of Tennant, it does feel like the mistake that was averted with the Dark Dimension is actually being made by the 60th. That probably sounds hyperbolic and I'm a reasonable level-headed man who's probably not coming across as either reasonable or level-headed in this video. The fact is it's just a TV show that's about to celebrate a milestone by bringing back two of its most popular leading figures for a celebration and as far as we know it's not relegating other doctors in favour of David but as far as we know it is favouring David by it being only him. After a rocky period which however you feel about it and I'm no Chibnall Whittaker era hater by any means wasn't universally beloved by everybody then I can kind of see that it makes business sense to revisit a time when the show was riding so very high. And in addition to that TV shows rely on scheduling and other boring factors that have to be taken into consideration beyond creative imagination. Stephen Moffat has said that when he started planning the 50th anniversary uh, the only main cast member that he had contracted was Jenna Coleman and he even had to go so far as to concocting a contingency plan which celebrated the show's legacy without including any of the Doctors. Well, that's obviously far from ideal, I have to admit to being a little bit curious as to how that could have worked. So yes, one Doctor, whoever it is, is better than no Doctors at all. And maybe, the, maybe David Tennant as the Doctor in the 6th anniversary special is the only way these could have been made. But just because I'm marginally less worried about the 60th than I would be if there was no Doctors at all, doesn't mean I'm not a little bit worried about the 60th. Because whatever decisions have been made, whether out of desire or necessity, will have to be justified in story, and that is where my worries lie. Alongside the fact that if I'm actually honest, I don't think that having Tenant and only Tenant back was the only way to commemorate the anniversary. And all of this fails to mention the elephant in the room and why I was kind of cautious about making this video in the first place, and that is, none of us have seen the specials yet at all. And I'm fully prepared for the fact that they could be stone cold brilliant. The explanation for the 14th Doctor's face could be extraordinary. The regifting of Donna's memories while finding a way not to kill her could be inspired. And David Tennant could even be playing the 14th Doctor as completely different and not just 10 in a new outfit. So I am prepared for the fact that I could be pleasantly surprised. Although I would put money on it just being 10 in a new outfit. Ooh, you're hard showing off. But hoping to be pleasantly surprised with five months to go is not where I wanted to be when it comes to the 60th anniversary specials of Doctor Who. And if this video has a point, I guess it's that. I want to be pumped, hyped, excited. And if you are, like I say, I'm happy for you, but I am also insanely jealous. This is compounded by the fact that as with the 40th and the 50th, uh, Big Finish are doing their own special story for the 60th. Uh, unlike Zagreus and The Light at the End, which released in November 2003 and 2013 respectively, this is actually uh, split up uh, uh, over a couple of months throughout the year. So it has already started. We have uh, heard the first one and the second one may have even dropped by the time this video goes out, which means uh, as with Zagreus being a brand new story in the absence of Doctor Who being on television at the time for the 40th, uh, Once and Future could serve to get me stoked and hyped up for the 60th anniversary if I'm not currently feeling excited by what we know about the progress of the TV episodes. Uh, it's just that having listened to the first part of it, 
yeah, I'm just not feeling the 60th anniversary at all. And I mean, it is only part one, and there are a chance for that story to sort of like pick up and uh, 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 pick up momentum and become become huge. It's just that I kind of wanted to be a little bit more gripped by the opening chapter of a 60th anniversary epic than I was. So, as well as not feeling it on the TV, I now also have a little bit of worry when it comes to the big finish side of the anniversary as well. So, God, maybe I am just a, maybe I'm just a miserable old man now. But there is time for all that to change, both with Big Finish and with the TV episodes, the more we find out about them as the year goes on. And I really hope it does change as well, because uh, it seems strange to have been more hyped for the 30th and the 40th anniversaries than I am for this one, when it wasn't even on TV. I just want that kid at Christmas excitement that Doctor Who brings out in me and should bring out in me when it comes to big anniversary specials. And naturally, I'll keep you updated with how I'm progressing with that. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, which might be too strong a term, my expression of trepidation, which might be too weak a term, maybe descent into middle-aged grump is more accurate. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like thumb. It really does help the channel no end. And what do you think about the upcoming 60th anniversary shenanigans? Do you share any of my concerns or are you more excited for it than you've ever been before? Is it normal to be this nervous or am I just being very silly indeed and just stop being one of those whiny fans that I promised myself I would never be? Let me know respectfully in the comments below and I'll be back here soon continuing my ongoing Doctor Who marathon as well as sharing my own personal rankings of various Doctor Who anniversary specials from the past. So if you don't want to miss that, hit the subscribe button, clang the cloister bell and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much.